I love teaching, I love learning, and I love students. And because I can put all those together and make a career out of it, I feel extremely lucky. Um, at the end of the day, it always is and always will be for the students, for the kids, and for their future. And I think that's why I'm staying in education. It's because I believe in the future generations. And if I get to have even a little say in their school experience, in their journey, um, I will gladly do that over and over again. My name is Bill Stockton. I'm the 2022 Montana State Teacher of the Year. And the reason that I continue to teach is because there's no other profession in the world like teaching. There's no other job where every day we face new challenges and have a completely different day where we get the opportunity to work with such amazing young people and build such lasting um, relationships. Every day with those new challenges comes a new opportunity to get better, get to know your students and for them to better to get to know you. And with that, uh, it really makes teaching a rewarding career. And that's why I continue to teach. The question was posed, why do I love being a teacher? Three things come to mind. Opportunity, it's an opportunity for me to connect with young people and they are our future. I learn so much from them. Inspire, I can inspire students to think critically, which is a skill so needed in our global world today. And finally, empower. I can empower them to change the world. Every student has magic. Every student has the ability to succeed if we only give them a chance. Our learners deserve to have somebody who is going to support, create safe places, and just really be that support system for them every single day and beyond the year that I have them. Our education system, it's not a one size fits all anymore and we need to disrupt learning. We need to start doing things differently and looking at, you know, what are those competencies? What are those portrait of a learner skills that these kids need to go out into the world? Helping them discover what are your passions? What are maybe some areas of growth that you have? What are your strengths? And what can we do with that? How can we use that in a positive light? You know, finding out that you can be a leader in small ways. How can you go out into your communities and start, you know, advocating for learning and advocating for yourself and just understanding the why behind their, their work too and that developing that agency within them. Our learners deserve to have something better than a traditional setting and I'm super passionate about helping them discover those skills that they have, those skills that they possess and how they're going to use them beyond just their education here at Northern Cass. How are you going to use that beyond your years here and some of that, creating some of those signature experiences for them that are going to really help them become world changers and um, I'm just excited to be that person for them. Hello, my name is Kim King and I am the 2022 Connecticut State Teacher of the Year. Why have I stayed in education? It's because I haven't given up hope. What is wrong with education is not what is happening inside our classrooms, but outside our classrooms. Our classrooms are places of magic and curiosity, connection and community. It is where future designers, inventors, peacemakers are nurtured. Education is the key. Do not give up hope. My name is Brian Casta. I'm the 2022 West Virginia State Teacher of the Year. And I decided to stay teaching um, because teachers have an impact. We need teachers that care and uh, love students and want the best for them. And this is one of those jobs where if you stick with it long enough, you'll see the impact that you have and it will um, be something that fuels you up each day. So hang in there and keep teaching. Hi, my name is Heidi Olson, and I'm a school counselor in Harvey, North Dakota, and I am staying in education for a couple of reasons that stand out in my mind. Number one is the opportunity to walk through life's up and downs with students. It is such a joy and a privilege to be able to do that in some of their most difficult times. And I'm also thankful and blessed 
by the coworkers and colleagues that I have in my own school and across the state who give me encouragement, support, and the energy to pour into those students that we see every day. I am proud to be an educator. Hi, my name is Joe Welch and I'm the 2022 Pennsylvania Teacher of the Year. And when I think about why I choose to stay in the classroom, I think about the impact that you get to have on the lives of your students. But the beautiful thing about all of those relationships that you're going to build with your students and that you will build with your students is that you get to make them one student at a time, one day at a time, and one lesson at a time. So you will go on to impact thousands of lives, but you get to do it one student at a time. And that's why I choose to stay in the classroom. Hi, my name is Cavi Hong. I am the 2022 Wisconsin State Teacher of the Year. And I stay in education because there is nothing like working with young people and being important in their lives. I still get so much love and energy from the small conversations you have right before class starts or after school or when you're interacting with a student, when they're working on like college application essays, when a student writes you a thank you note, um, letting me know how important I was in their life. And there's no profession in the world that allows you to have that kind of interaction with a young person who has dreams and hopes and for you to feel that you played a very important role in that. So that's why I stay in education. Hi, I'm Christy Rinke. I'm a seventh grade world geography teacher at Jim Hill Middle School in Minot and I'm the 2021 North Dakota Teacher of the Year. My why is to be somebody else's why. Every day I get to walk into the building and make a difference in at least one person's life. And getting to watch a former student, athlete, or mentee go out into the real world, it makes me so proud just knowing I got to play a teeny little part in their life. Hi, my name is James Young and I am Missouri State Teacher of the Year for 2022. I love the profession of teaching because it gives me an opportunity to use all the skills, uh, not just that I learned in college, but all the life skills and the life lessons that I've learned to impact the lives of others. It gives me an opportunity to see light bulbs go off and see students discover things and be creative in ways that they haven't imagined possible for themselves. I continue teaching because I believe that education is the foundation of our communities and our society. And I know things get difficult and challenging, uh, but it takes the effort of us all. And this is a great place to be if you want to be a difference maker and a change maker. And so I would definitely encourage those who are considering teaching uh, to go for it. And I would consider those who are teaching now, or I would like to say to those teaching now, keep up your work. Your work is so important. It's so vital and so critical uh, to our communities and to our nation. And so thank you for all that you do. Why do you stay in education? We love our students. What do you love about teaching? Watching our students grow. Hi, my name is Sarah Painter. I'm the 2022 Florida Teacher of the Year. Why am I staying in teaching? I'm staying because that feeling you get when you teach a student how to do something and they do it successfully fills my bucket more than anything in this world. In fact, I think it's contagious. The more it happens, the more I want it to happen. And that's why I'm staying in teaching. Hey, my name is Stephanie Ballard and I'm the 2022 South Dakota Teacher of the Year. I teach seventh grade math at Mickelson Middle School in Brookings, South Dakota. I choose every day to stay in this profession because it's given me a purpose through some of the most difficult years of my life. Two years ago, when schools were shutting down nationwide due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I experienced a traumatic loss in my personal life. My son passed away. I found that um, that experience and grief impacted everything about me. My personality, uh, my communication style, my relationships, and my um, cognitive and everyday functioning, just how I survived today. Um, I almost left the classroom. It took me six months to return to teaching, and when I did, I found that I was a far better educator and a far better person. 
I'm able to establish even more authentic relationships with my students and the families that I served as I've gained this new perspective of what's important in life. I now um, focus on meeting students' most basic social-emotional needs before pushing rigorous math standards in my class, and I've actually found that that's made a huge difference in increasing my students' math achievement. Um, I think as educators, we often think that there should be this perfect balance between our work life and our home life, that they should be exactly 50-50, and they should never collide or um, impact the others. And so I see a lot of my colleagues that are leaving the field of education um, because something or a lot of things about work got hard and stressful and that stress seeped into their personal life. And while those individual experiences should always be validated and supported, um, I want to challenge you that when you face that stress and that adversity to give yourself time, lots of time, to intentionally reflect on why you got into the field of teaching and what is your individual purpose um, in the classroom. My individual purpose is to um, build relationships with students who desperately need authenticity and connection. Um, my individual purpose is to demonstrate resilience um, in life's toughest circumstances when life gets hard because it gets hard. There are gonna be seasons in your life where you'll have to commit more time and energy and effort to your personal life. And there will be seasons where you have to commit more time and energy and effort to your professional life. And that's okay. Um, I found that having a healthy balance and having a fulfilling personal and professional life isn't about me. It's not about my salary or my classroom management or those day-to-day -day stresses. Um, it's about helping and supporting others. That's how I find fulfillment. Um, so I found that fulfillment in supporting and helping others um, in teaching in the classroom, and that's why I stay. Russell, Ohio State Teacher of the Year. Um, why do I love teaching? Why am I still in the profession? It's because of kids. Um, kids with a passion, with their love for education, um, they bring so much joy to my life. And through education, I'm able to connect with students and able to help students grow. Thank you so much. Hola, I am Natalia Benjamin, and I am the Minnesota Teacher of the Year for the 2021-2022 school year. And I wanted to share a little bit about why I have stayed in education and working in education. During the past year, I have spent many moments with youth, uh, whether it was in the classroom or in after school programs. And we've shared lots of moments where they get to share their dreams, uh, also their struggles and some of the things that they're going through in their, in their journey of life. And I think it's our responsibility to build affirming spaces where students can dream of their futures, where they can have hope, where they can gain the skills that they need to build the future that they want of themselves. And that's one of the reasons why I have stayed in education. I, I think it's our responsibility to build systems where students can thrive and where they can create what they want so that we can have communities that are good for everybody, where everyone can thrive and be themselves and be successful in their own ways. And that's one of the reasons that I am working in education. I'll be working as the coordinator for multilingual learning for our district this upcoming school year. And I am super excited to be part of this organization and to work with others to build the best things that we can for our youth and for the future generation. Hey everyone, this is Autumn Rivera, the Colorado 2022 Teacher of the Year and finalist for National Teacher of the Year. And it's been a crazy last couple years, but every time I feel like it's been a lot or I feel overwhelmed, first, I name the feeling and really talk about why I'm being overwhelmed. And then second, I think about my students and I think about the relationships I build with my students. I think about being able to challenge them. I think about being able to be a representation for them. And also I think about the relationships and empowering them. It's really important to be that for my students and to be able to be that with them. And so I keep coming back.